Lesson 25, Learning the Abacus. Subtraction using complementary numbers with respect to the number 10 in the ones column. All right, so here we go. Now, this is, this is a lot of fun, and I, I, I think you're going to enjoy this um, more than the, the addition because it's different, and it gets you to think. Now, just to point out, even though we're using the ones column, and in the past we've only always used the ones column at this point, but since we're doing these numbers, these problems, with respect to the number 10, we're going to have be using a little bit because we're doing subtraction. So the first problem that we're going to do is 10 minus 7. So we're going to start with the number 10 on our abacus. And we are going to subtract from that the number 7. Well, the 7 is in the 1's column. We don't have enough beads there to take that away from it. So, remember, you, we've done it's exactly the same as we've done before. When we're using complements and we're subtracting, we're going to add the complement. All right, so here we go. We're, we're doing subtraction. The complement to the number 7 is the number... Did you say it out loud? Can you get it? Did I? It's 3. The complement to the number 7 is 3. So here's what we do. Is we add 3, slide 3 towards the beam, and we're going to take that one away in the tens column. So 10 minus 7 is 3. I can see that. That works. Yeah, we can do this. Let's do another one kind of similar to that. Let's do 10 minus 6. And in your head, I know you can probably do this, but it'll be, we're learning abacus brain. So here we go. 10 minus 6. This says 10, and 1 is 0. And we don't have 6 beads to take away from here. There would have to be a number bigger than 6 in this 1's column to do that. But there's a 0. So what do we do? We add the complement. The complement to the number 6 is 4. All right, that means we slide 4 up and take away this bead in the 10's column. So 10 minus 6 is 4. All right. I can see the wheel starting to turn. Here we go. Let's do one just a tad bit. No, it's not any harder. It's just different. Let's do 11 minus 8. 11 is a 1 and a 1. That's how you write the number 11, 1 and 1. And we're going to subtract from that the number 8, 11 minus 8. So here we are in the 1's column, and we don't have enough beads there. We only have 1. So we've got to use complementary numbers, and the complement to the number 8 is 2. That means we add 2. So I added 2 to the 1's column, and I'm going to subtract this bead in the 10's column. So 11 minus 8 is 3. All right, here we go. The next one, 12 minus 9. There is the number 12 on our abacus, and we're going to subtract from that the number 9. Not enough beads. That means we add the complement. The complement to the number 9 is 1, and we take away that right there. 12 minus 9 is, what do we have left? 3. Now, I know you're getting this. This is probably a piece of cake. Let's just do like two more, and I think you'll have it. Let's do 17 minus 9. Let's try that. A 1 and a 7. 17 minus 9. Well, 9s are easy, especially in subtraction, because all we have to do is add that one there and take that one away there. 17 minus 9 is 8. Piece of cake. Oh, that's fun. All right, one last one, and I think you'll have this subtraction using complementary numbers in the tens column. Let's do 12 minus 8. All right, so let's put the number 12 on here. 12 minus 8, we don't have enough. We know we need to use, use complementary numbers. The complement to the number 8 is 2. 
and we're subtracting. So that means we add the complement and then take away that bead in the tens column. 12 minus 8 is 4. Now I know you're getting this and that was probably a piece of cake for you. And I know you'll get this. So let's, let's go print off that worksheet and just work through the problem. Fly through them because you probably will. And it's, it's fun. The next one's going to be even more fun, the tens column.